What is the difference between genomic testing and genetic testing? Every cell has got 23 pairs of chromosomes. And uh, on those chromosomes are the genes. And when we talk about genomics, we talk about all of the genes in a cell. And when we talk about genetics or genetic testing, we talk about looking at individual genes. So it's really, they're talking about the same thing, it's just a difference of scale. And there's probably about 30 to 40,000 genes. Uh, and often we're, we're only concerned with a handful of them. What is a genome? We want to sequence the code of that DNA in every individual. And that sequence of that code is the genome. So every individual's genome represents that DNA code that makes all of their traits unique. And that code is made up of units. Now in a computer, those units are strings of ones and zeros, ones and zeros in different orders. In biology, the unit is called the base of DNA and there are four of them. We refer to them as A, G, C, and T. Those are just abbreviations for the chemical names of the bases of the DNA. And the order of those bases is different in different individuals and dictates individual traits. The number of those bases is about three billion. So every genome, every cell in your body has this code made up of three billion of these A, G, C's, and T's. And it's the order of those that give you your traits. Now, about 20 years ago, we identified those bases of DNA and learned that if you compare the order of those bases in you and your next door neighbor, you two are about 99.9% .9 identical. That is, the code of your DNA is about 99.9% .9 the same as your neighbor, who's not related to you. Well, they're kind of related to you because they're human beings, so we are related in that way. We're 99.9% .9 identical. But that 0.1% there's a lot of differences because 0.1% of 3 billion is 3 million. So that means that there are over millions of bases of this code that make you different from your neighbor. And it's a, the idea of understanding those differences that give us a better idea of biologic function.